People will quite often ask, what, what sort of geology is required to, to store CO2 underground? And they'll quite often think that you're actually storing it in a big cavern. Well, it's not a cavern. This is, this is the cavern. It's, and we've got lots and lots of tiny caverns, if you like. These are pores. These are tiny pores that you actually get the carbon dioxide going into. So we have what are called porous and permeable rocks. You need both of those things. The porosity holds the carbon dioxide in the rocks and the permeability allows it to go through the rocks. So there's two things are needed. And that's, so that's what we call a reservoir rock. It's a porous and permeable rock. Now, people also will ask, well, how do you stop that then moving up and, and escaping? And the answer lies in this sort of rock. And you can see there's a very different sort of uh, appearance to this rock. This is what we call, a so uh, this, is, this is actually a seal. So if you imagine the rocks are, are like that, this will prevent the carbon dioxide moving upwards. So in other words, we need these two components, one of which is a reservoir rock and the other is a seal. And this is very, very porous and permeable. This is very impermeable. And it's that combination of those two rock types that you actually require that actually lock in the CO2.